There are many problems that developers face when porting a game to another console, but Zombie U is a special case. Being a launch title for the Wii U, the name made sense because it was a play on words. But now that it's on the PS4, the U at the end is gone. So it reads, Zombi. And since I'm a petty loser who probably cares a little too much about the English language, that's how I'll be pronouncing it for the rest of the video. Unfortunately, like its new title implies, Zombi isn't a dating sim where you can romance both men, women, living, and undead. Because that would honestly be an improvement from what I just played. At least that would be original. But Zombi insists on being one of the most generic zombie experiences I've ever had. You play as a survivor in London who teams up with a mysterious voice who calls himself the Prepper. My friends call me the Prepper. And then do almost every zombie-related trope there is. Gather supplies, try to escape the city, find a cure, deal with other psychotic survivors, and, oh yeah, kill zombies. Zombi sets the tone fairly quickly by showcasing some of its incredibly poor writing. The last person I tried to help went outside without the pad, and look how that ended. So let me get this straight. You call yourself the Prepper, but you couldn't remind this poor guy to remember his dumb pad? There's a manhole nearby that's your quickest way back to the safe house. Have a gander. If the sewers are so safe, why couldn't I just take them to begin with? John D predicted the plague, and the Great Fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime, even tried to find a cure. You know, you don't really need to explain the zombie apocalypse. It sort of just happens like natural disasters and memes. And the story and writing doesn't get any better. But as long as it's a horror game, the lackluster writing can be overlooked, provided it's scary, right? But disregarding the unimpressive jump scares, Zombie fails flat in that department as well. You see, the problem with doing anything zombie related now is if you don't mess with the formula whatsoever, then zombies by themselves aren't scary anymore. The concept has been beaten to death, to the point where zombies have become mundane and familiar, which kills horror settings. I'm sure we've all seen enough zombies in the media, to the point where we're prepared or at the very least know what to do if a zombie apocalypse ever happened. Experiencing this bland virtual zombie apocalypse is about as interesting as visiting the DMV. And honestly, the DMV is probably a little scarier, with the constant threat of being sent back in line. But I digress. The gameplay is probably the best part about Zombie. It does a good job at making you feel like a useless survivor with its clunky controls. But with that said, it definitely has its share of problems. Why Zombie nails how your character is supposed to feel, its zombies are fucking pathetic, which makes this game way too easy and ruins any sense of tension. Considering how all zombies recoil back after each hit, you can manage an entire herd quite easily with just a melee weapon. I died a total of seven times on my first playthrough. Once by an actual zombie, which used a one-grab kill attack early on in the game, twice by running through fire, which blocked off a later area, and the rest by this exploding asshole. Zombie never warned me that this piece of shit explodes on contact, even if you just use a melee weapon. But this brings me to the special zombies. They suck dick. Three of the four special zombies are Left 4 Dead ripoffs with less depth. The aforementioned asshole is the boomer that only explodes. Then there's the smoker slash spitter who doesn't do enough damage to be an actual threat. And now we've got the car alarm in zombie form. The last one turns invisible for some unexplained reason which is only unusual because the game explains everything else about the goddamn zombie plague. One cool aspect of Zombie is its take on permadeath. If your character dies, they stay dead. Your next character will be someone completely different, and you'll need to find the body to reclaim all the gear he or she was carrying. It's a mechanic that would be more interesting if the game wasn't so easy, but I'll give credit where credit is due. I also enjoyed the well thought out level design. The levels wrap around each other sort of like Dark Souls, but on a smaller scale. The nursery was creepy and probably the most unique out of the whole game. London Tower also has an interesting castle feel to it, despite Resident Evil 4 doing it first. But I also have plenty of nitpicks that aren't exactly game-breaking, but I'm still bothered to no end. So, with no real structure and as fast as I can, let's get through this. The inventory system is shit. It's clunky and obnoxious. If I reload a gun, the game won't use a slot with the least amount of ammunition. Some of the letters are voiced and can't be picked up, but most aren't voiced and can be picked up. Would some uniformity kill them? 
Fuck this flashlight. If a company really made a flashlight that only lights up a small circle in front of you, they'd be put out of business instantly. The music is also random. Dramatic, tense music will play or start up when nothing is happening, which only hurts the game's flow even further. Alright, I know I've been blasting this game left and right, but it's not actually a horrible game. It's just blander than unsweetened oatmeal. Imagine Bioshock Dark Souls and Resident Evil 4 without a shred of originality. That's Zombi. So yeah, I'd give it a C-. It functions perfectly well, but Zombi is a forgettable experience that no one really needs to play. Much like the Wii U, which it originally launched on.